Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. W.B. Yates. Hello and welcome to the Film Buffs podcast. On this episode, I will be heading below the surface of the earth to review a creepy little dystopian film that very well may have slipped under your radar. When I owned a cinema, this was a film parents would often complain about, reporting that the film was too dark and frightening for their children. Like the penguins from Madagascar, I'd just... Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. What else could I do? City of Ember is a 2008 science fiction adventure film directed by Gil Keenan and based on the novel of the same name by Jean Duprow. The movie stars Circe Ronan, Harry Treadaway, Bill Murray, and Tim Robbins and was produced by Walden Media and Playtone. One of the most notable aspects of the film is its unique and immersive production design. The filmmakers worked hard to create the illusion of the underground city. In the end, the best way to achieve this was to build it from scratch, complete with detailed sets and props that helped bring the story's setting to life. The City of Ember was designed to be a mix of industrial and futuristic elements with a distinct steampunk vibe. The production design team also paid close attention to lighting and color, using warm, muted tones to convey the city's decay and darkness. Another interesting aspect of the film's production is the use of practical effects. Rather than relying solely on CGI, the filmmakers opted to use practical effects whenever possible. For example, the giant mole creature that Lena and Dune encounter in the film was created using a combination of animatronics and puppetry, giving the creature a lifelike quality that would have been difficult to achieve using only computer-generated imagery. The film's cast also deserves recognition for their excellent performances. Saoirse Ronan, who was only 13 years old at the time of filming, delivers a nuanced and emotional performance as Lena, a brave and determined girl who sets out to save her people. Harry Treadaway, who plays Dune, Lena's friend and partner in their quest, also delivers a standout performance, bringing both intelligence and heart to the role. Bill Murray and Tim Robbins round out the cast, playing two of the city's most important figures. Murray plays the corrupt mayor of the city, while Robbins plays Lena's inventor father. Both actors bring depth and complexity to their roles, helping to ground the film's fantastical elements in a sense of reality. In terms of its storyline, City of Ember is a gripping and suspenseful adventure that will keep viewers on the edge of their seats. The film's themes of friendship, sacrifice, and the importance of knowledge are also noteworthy, making it a movie that is both entertaining and thought-provoking. There is also the mystery of why the city was built underground. Hints are given to why it exists, but the audience is only ever given small insights as to why. In the end, it's up to the audience to put the backstory together. This ultimately makes the film even more interesting and keeps the audience thinking about the film long after the credits have rolled. From time to time, I still find myself thinking about it. Overall, City of Ember is an extremely well-crafted and visually stunning adventure mystery film that is sure to delight fans of science fiction and fantasy. Its unique production design, excellent cast, and gripping storyline make it a standout entry in the genre and a must-watch for anyone looking for an exciting and immersive movie experience. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this film review, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you've already seen the film, feel free to share your thoughts about why you believe that the City of Ember is built underground in the comments below.